Big drum roll. I told you guys that my life was really changing, and it has because I've gone from a class B plus to a C, and now to a fifth wheel. So you guys, this is my new house. This is a Graham Design Solitude 310 GK. guys have been waiting for this tour. I'm going to get right into it and show you the rig, but thank you for all your well wishes on the TED Talk and all the positive feedback on the latest book. I appreciate it. Come back on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, and I'll tell you why I switched to this rig, and then a week from today is going to be a new view cue. So if you have any questions for me, put them down below in this video in the comments and I'll answer them. Let's have the tour. in here. One thing that I love about this design is that they didn't put any cabinets on the patio side, so you have these massive windows. I would open them for you, but the sun is glaring in here. But you can imagine how great this is. You can see a wonderful view, and there's just windows all the way around. And then the cabinets start up here. They're huge. They're deep. They're huge. And they go all the way around. Oh, look, you guys. There's Barry Garfunkel. He made it here. I like this. It's like a little lodge feeling with the fireplace going. So you're just chilling back there in the theater seats, you know, enjoying the fireplace. And let's say that you want to watch some TV. You just hit this button. And out it comes. There are a ton of cabinets, 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 huge ceilings. And look at this pantry. Now, I'm still getting organized, you guys. <laughs> so it's going to get a little better than this. But, I mean, I like to cook. There is just a ton of room in here. I am loving it. And seriously, look at the size of this fridge. It's like a residential size fridge. And this whole thing is the freezer. I can now have frozen food. As you can see, I finally have a good place for the Berkey. That is Velcro to the wall right there. Love it. The reason I chose the 310 GK, which stands for Grand Kitchen, is this island. It is huge. Now, this is only a 35 foot fifth wheel. Now I say only. That is a bigger living space than I've ever had on the road. But both of these slides that you see here go in. So this massive space right here goes down to like an eight foot wide space that fits on the road. I'm gonna show you guys that another day, but this is a slide and that's a slide over there. And when they go in, they basically go up to the edges of this island. The whole thing just collapses like a Harry Potter magic bus. But when you're actually camping, it expands into this gorgeous living space. So now I can prep food, I can do dishes, 
I could rinse and wash if I wanted to because there's two sides to the sink. And there's a cover for this one too, but I like to keep it off because then I can just do dishes by hand. This did have the option of coming with a dishwasher, but I don't need a dishwasher. You know, it's just one or two people here and it's easy to just do the dishes really quick. Another thing I found absolutely shocking about Grand Design is how many outlets they have. There's like four outlets right here on the counter. Up above the stove, there's two more here and two more down there. There's more on both sides of the couch and USB ports. And it goes on and on. I mean, I could spend quite a while showing you where all the plugs are. But another great feature that I liked about the Grand Design is they have this drawer down here that's really meant for a dog bowl. It actually came with a dog bowl um, set right here, but it's too high for the boy. So I actually keep the boy's food right here when I'm not shooting a video. And like the holy grail of RV life, where do you put your trash can? Not only do they have one trash can in here, they have two. Look at that. It's so great. You can see that I made some stuff with lemons. Um, usually I have the recycling back there, but right now I'm using that to store some potatoes. Seems to work really well until I cook with them and then I'll put my recycling back in there. So if you like to cook, not only do you have space for all your gadgets, but a microwave convection oven, this stovetop that I just love, and an oven. I've never had an oven. You guys know that I like to use my solar oven, but you know, in the winter, it's nice to have this. And this couch is actually super comfy. And so are these theater seats. You can see I have one totally reclined there that, um, I mean, you can sleep in that thing. I have, Doug has, it is really comfortable. They're also heated, you guys, and they have a massage. I feel very spoiled. But this couch actually folds out into a queen size bed. We haven't tried it yet but um should be great when people want to come visit it also has this really sunny dinette table it's fixed it doesn't go up or down or side to side but you can see here that i've got two of the chairs that it came with it also came with some folding chairs which are in storage but you guys can see that i put a different chair over there because i spend sometimes 15 hours a day at my desk and i use this as a desk i mean right now you can see it's a puzzle but i had to put a more comfortable chair there I think down the road I'm actually going to move the table on the wall down to the right so it's more like an L-shaped desk area so I have more room for my chair. It's not like I'm here, you know, eating with my husband and two kids. These are the steps up and you can see there's a cubby for shoes which is great when you're coming in the door. Note to anybody who gets one of these, I will tell you that the staircase outside lifts up really easy and comes inside the door but when you do all the dirt comes right here so you've got to kind of look out for that but let's go on up the stairs oh and for anybody who was wondering where I put my hundred thousand plaque there it is thank you YouTube here's the bedroom but first I'm going to show you the bathroom it has a big shower that brings in the daylight and these doors that open up they're just genius and I don't have any leaks at all in this one and it has storage back here and some hooks and just a regular RV toilet. This is a giant mirror medicine cabinet. It holds a bunch of stuff and a sink with extra space to put your stuff in. And again, more storage and more outlets. The shower actually opens from either side. I just realized this the other day when I needed to get something off the counter while I was in the shower. Love it. But it is a nice big shower with a removable nozzle. And it has a seat, which you can see I have covered in stuff. I'm still organizing. But the thing I think is just genius about this sh shower, there's actually two things. First of all, to get more height than the shower, you actually step down into the shower. So you guys can kind of see how deep that is. So for anybody that's tall, it gives you like maybe an extra 10 inches, I'm guessing. The other thing is that the water goes into these little tracks and then actually comes out into the shower. So you're not dripping water out into your bathroom where you have to worry about water damage. Genius grand design. Ah, oh, look, I just triggered the motion sensor. Now at night, if you're walking to the bathroom or something, or you just wanna walk down the stairs to get into the living room, this light lights up the stairs and I can also see when the cat is coming and going. Genius grand design, love it. 
Okay, let's take a look at the bedroom. I will turn on the light. There are windows all around the bed and it lets in a nice breeze. And you guys, this is a king size bed, which is so nice when Doug comes to visit. I could spend days in this bed. And then of course, it's got a nice mirrored closet over here. I'm gonna show you the closet in a second, even though it's a mess, because it's just amazing. They have another TV in here and a dresser. And there's also storage under the bed. And I'm gonna show you guys that I figured out I could put the cat box under here. I had this hole cut, the dealership did it for me. I'm gonna put some kind of a nice trim on it, but that's where the boy's litter box is. And he loves just laying on this mat because it's next to the heating vent. All right, you guys, here's the closet. It has hanging space, but then it also has storage space back here. So I keep extra cat food there, toilet paper, extra towels, things like that. If you have anything tall, like camera tripods or I guess golf clubs, something like that, uh, maybe even skis, they would fit in that corner. Love it. Okay, you guys, I almost don't even want to show you what's in that door behind me because I feel really spoiled. You guys guessed it. Cue the chorus of angels, a washer dryer. I would probably only use it when I have ready access to water and power, but I am having a bunch of solar put on. I'll tell you guys about that soon. But it's been a real treat to have an actual washer and dryer and not have to go to the laundromat. I'm just inside the door and I'm actually gonna pan around so that you guys can get an actual feel of the floor plan in here. I'm just gonna walk literally around the island and through the kitchen and then up the stairs is the bedroom. I just love it in here. The light in the space is so great. And yeah, it's another five feet technically longer than my last rig if you count the part that goes over the truck. And I have to have a truck and I'm going to tell you guys all about that in an upcoming video. So it is going to cut down on some of the spaces I can get into, but now I'm going to have a car to get around, and my living area is so much bigger. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, if you're curious about why I made the switch and how the money worked out and everything, I'm going to tell you all about that Wednesday. View cues coming up on Sunday. Really glad to be back with you guys. I missed you a lot, but you can expect videos from me at least every week coming up through this year. I hope you're all having a great Sunday out there. You're on the road or you get out there soon. Until then, everybody have happy travels and be free.